Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to take you on a tour of the 2022 Roadtrek Play SRT. So let's get started. Here is an overview of the day layout as well as an overview of the night layout with the optional front single bed. And here are the specifications. It has an exterior length of just under 20 feet. The OCCC is 2100 pounds. It has a tow hitch rating of 2,000 pounds, fresh water capacity is 37 gallons, black water capacity is 8.5 gallons, gray water capacity is 14 gallons, it has a 400 AGM battery system, an underhood generator, a 3,000 watt power inverter, a 5.9 gallon propane tank, and an instant hot water system. Light above the passenger door. The sliding door has an opening window, a step right under the sliding door, right beside that step is the propane fill and a connection for an exterior grill. Up here is another light, opening window below, big awning on top. Let's move to the rear of this RV. Right above is a backup camera. Tow hitch right here, along with a seven pin connection and a four pin connection. Cable, 30 amp plug-in, and the city water input is on this side. And take a look at the clearance. Let's open up these back doors. The tabletop is stored in this door on the driver's side. And this is the garage area back here. Roll down privacy shade along with a roll down bug screen. Let's move on to the driver's side. Opening window back here. Lockable outdoor shower. Right here is the sewer connection. Over here is where you put in your gas. And let's take a look at the front. All right, time to check out the interior of this RV. Grab handle on the side here. And this is what it looks like inside. All right, let's start with the cockpit area. So I do have to take a step up as well as duck my head. And I find that I have to watch my forehead also because of this ledge right here. So sitting in the driver's seat, there is an armrest. It's a manually adjusted seat. Now right to my left is the waste discharge pump button. There are power folding mirrors and they are heated. Right in the driver's door on the side here is a drink holder. There's some controls here on the steering wheel. There's a backup camera in the rear view mirror. Below that, right on the dash, there's a clipboard for securing some papers. Little touch screen infotainment center there a drink holder right here, a 12 volt and a USB. Down below there are three additional cup holders as well as a little area that would be good for stashing your phone. Moving to the passenger side, on the dash there's a glove box that is covered, a ledge below, 
and another glove box below. There's also an additional cup holder in the passenger door. Moving up, right above the driver is the power control center. There's a light that you can easily push on and off and adjust as needed. And there's also one above the passenger. There's a ledge right here that extends over the driver and passenger side. Good for storing some items. All right, let's check out the rest of this RV. Now, right between the driver and passenger seats, there is a mount for a pedestal table, and both of these seats do swivel around, so that would be a great place for eating or maybe even doing some remote working. Right above the cockpit area is a storage area. It does not have a door. Moving to the passenger side, let's check out the sliding door area. So the sliding door has a window that opens up. It has a roll down bug screen as well as a roll down privacy shade. Now right above, there are some switches. There's the patio light switch, the water pump switch, the inverter off switch, battery disconnect switch. There's a battery monitor. And these, by pushing each of these, you can see what your tank levels are at. And here's the switch for the awning. Behind the passenger seat is the fire extinguisher. Now let's check out the bathroom. It's located right across from the sliding door and behind the driver's seat. So there are these two doors for the bathroom and each door has a long mirror on it. So I'm going to open this up and have you take a look. Okay, so I'm going to step inside and check it out. So it, it feels a little tight because I have the toilet on this side and then the sink is on my other side. So it's kind of confining me right here. So let's check out the space. There's a big mirror right here, a light. The shower head is a delta, but there are no adjustments and I'm not seeing a start stop switch good sized sink below, little shelving area with two levels of storage, a good sized toilet, however, it is plastic. There's this shower curtain that you pull right across. Now there's a towel holder on this door and this door has the toilet paper holder. There's also this hook right here and this hook is used to latch onto the other door so that it provides you with more room when the doors are in the extended position. So it would look something like that in the extended position. Okay, now each door has this little storage rack. You can use them for storing magazines. Maybe roll up a towel or two and you can store them in there also. So let's check out the kitchen now. So there, this is the countertop space and there is this countertop extension below here. Here there's a 110 outlet here, a 12 volt and a USB. Now this is the sink. It does have a cover and a flip up faucet. And it's a good size. The cooktop is a two burner Dometic. Right above is the microwave. It's a small microwave, not convection. Brushed aluminum backsplash, a light that you can push on and off right under that microwave. Moving below, there's a good sized drawer cabinet below that with some shelves. So there's three levels of storage there. There's two 110 outlets right here. And on the side of that, some more storage with some shelves. Now right across is the refrigerator and it looks like it's a pretty good size. Let's check it out. So it's a Norcold and it's a pretty good size. 
the freezer is on top and you know what it is pretty deep back there there's a full-size ice tray that comes with it so there are four levels of storage and a little bin below to store some items the door has three adjustable bins on the side is a slide out pantry four levels of storage the top one provides you with storage for some tall items below the refrigerator and pantry is this really big drawer great for storing pots and pans now directly below this large drawer is this compartment and the hot water heater controller is in there. Now let's check out the rear of the coach. Right here beside the kitchen is the wardrobe and it's a pretty good size. There's a hanging rod in there. There is an outlet but it's got the microwave plugged into it and I'm not seeing any shelves in there. It does have storage for the pedestal table leg in there. Okay, right on the side of this, there's a cabinet that is pretty spacious. There's two 110 outlets, cable, and two 12 volts in there. Moving to the driver's side, there's another spacious cabinet. and a smaller one on the side of that cabinet. Right under this cabinet, there is a 12 volt, a USB, and a 110 outlet. Climate controller right here, and the switch to extend and retract the sofa bed. An adjustable push on off light right here and another one a little further back. More towards the rear of the coach there's yet again a 12 volt, a USB, and a 110 outlet. And yet again another push on off adjustable light. There's even a little speaker right here. Nice big window area here that does open up slides right across, has a privacy shade, and a bug screen. Back on the passenger side, underneath the cabinets, there's that little speaker again, an adjustable push on light, a 110 outlet, a USB port, and a 12 volt. Right down here, there's an additional 12 volt. An adjustable push on off a light right there. There's also another window on the passenger side that you open up. Privacy shade along with a bug screen. Now there's a good amount of room back here. I love the soft feel of the upholstery of the sofa. Now this area here has some storage underneath. And of course there's no room to actually sit here because the wardrobe is located right on top. You can sit on this side, but there is no seat belts. The rear sofa has seat belts for three each side has an over-the-shoulder belt and the center one has a lap belt. Right here in the center is a mount for a pedestal table. Now I'm going to show you how to convert this seating area into a bed. So I'm going to head over to that switch I showed you earlier and I am going to extend the sofa. like that. Now I'm going to use this board and put it between the two side seats like that. Grab the backrest cushions from each of the side seats 
and put them down on that board. And that was very easy. So I'm going to check out the bed. It's soft, it's comfortable. Of course, you'd have to tuck the seat belt down in there. And it's a good amount of room for two people. Okay, so let's put this back into the sofa position. Picking up those backrests, putting them on their respective sides, pulling up on that board, setting that aside, and heading back over to that switch and putting it in the up position. And there you have it. That was pretty simple. There's a low profile AC unit located right here in the rear of the coach. There's also a good amount of lights located along the center of the coach that you just push on and off. There's a power air vent located right here in the center of the coach. Now that pretty much wraps it up for this tour of the 2022 Road Trek Play SRT. Now the bed was super easy to put together and then put it back into the sofa position. Good amount of food storage with the refrigerator and the freezer along with the slide out pantry. The bathroom was a little on the small side, but it does have that extended door position. Love that there's just so much room here in the aisle, lots of room to just move around and feel comfortable. So thank you so much for joining me today. Please subscribe to my channel and join me for lots more videos. Bye for now.